in this lesson we are going to learn how to create maven based projects within vs code now the first thing you need to do is install the java extension in vs code you should have it inside vs code so i have already the java extension installed if i go to vs code extensions the java extension is already there for me in case you don't have it what you need to do you need to type java over here and then you can see this extension pack for java which is created by microsoft you need to install it in my case as it is already installed it is showing the options for disable or uninstall etc so this is the first step that you should do you should have this extension pack for java number one number two in your system maven should be installed and the maven home should be properly set up so in my earlier lessons i have already shown how to set up maven you can follow that particular lesson now once you have extension pack for java already set up maven already installed then we can go ahead and create a maven project in vs code so in order to do that you go to explorer if the java extension is already installed you would get one ui like this where we have the option to create java project now here if i click on create java project there are multiple options that would be shown here we can create projects with no build tools create with maven gradle spring boot etc so we can click over here and create the project another similar option would be if you see here there is maven option at the very bottom if you click over here this part is expanded now here if you click this plus icon create maven project this is also another option here what it does it provides maven specific options it shows different archetypes and from there you can select so let me go to the first option instead of using this let me press escape and click on create java project i'm using this maven one now it asks me for the archetype that i'm going to select i'm going to select maven archetype quick start here i need to select a version i'm selecting 1.4 now gradually step by step it would ask for the group id artifact id etc i'll keep it as it is for the demonstration and i need to press enter now it's asking for the artifact id press enter again now vs code is asking for the location where i want to create this project for this i have a dedicated directory i have already created this all vs code projects for java i'm selecting this one click on select destination folder now in the terminal maven has started creating the project here it would gradually create the project and ask for certain inputs let us wait as you can see it's generating the project in interactive mode here you can see it is using the group id com dot example artifact id demo and it's asking for version let me provide a value maybe 0.0.1 .0 press enter it's asking for confirmation for all this configuration for group id artifact id version package etc let me type y press enter on the right hand side it is saying that the maven project is created under this open let me click on open now a new view is opened so i have this demo project over here this is my source directory with main and test under main it has created app.java and let me see the pom.xml so it has created the default pom.xml it is asking do you want to install the dependency analytics extension i am not interested with this one at this point of time let me click the cross button so still on the right hand side at the bottom you can see opening java project something is going on internally vs code is doing something i would wait for that in the meantime let's have a high level view of this pom.xml so the compiler version it has given 1.7 it has added the dependency for junit now on the right hand side projects are imported into workspace i can click on view projects so it's a view similar to the explorer explorer shows us the project level view like whatever projects are there inside a folder and 
at the bottom i have the java projects view so same thing same way we can navigate under java projects you can see the view with source java folder test java folder jre maven dependencies under explorer what we can see we can see the source target and pom.xml so same thing different kind of views what we can see over here this is the java projects view and here if i open this is the maven view so here what we can see the details of the maven pom.xml what we have we have the life cycle we have the plugins we have the dependencies here i am going to make a small change instead of using 1.7 i am going to refer to 1.8 press control s so a build was modified do you want to synchronize the java class path of configuration i would say yes or i can click on always also for the time being let me choose yes so right now it's refreshing actually and from here under maven let me expand the life cycle i have clean i have compile i have install so if you hover on top of these options on the right hand side you can see this particular button for run let me clean this so in the terminal you can see the maven clean command being executed so clean is done i want to install as well so currently maven install command is getting executed it would download the jars whatever is necessary it would execute test also we have i think a sample test file automatically created yes it is there on the left hand side this is the app dot test fine so what we have done we have set up the maven project we have cleaned the maven file from here and we have installed it we have run the maven install command now i am going to run a particular file so for that what we can do we can click on the file we can click over here to run it we can directly right click over here and run java let me run it so it's compiling now and it is running so i have the output over here so there are multiple options from vs code we can use the maven view we can run the build life cycle right we can also directly use the terminal so in this way what we have done we have created a sample java project a maven based java project we have run the maven based commands from the vs code editor and we are able to run the java file successfully as well so another thing i just wanted to give you a hint or just want to show you a glimpse is like that inside the pom.xml we have the multiple dependencies here i have a single dependency right so j unit if you hover on top of this and press control space now what vs code will do it would provide you multiple options you can get multiple options whether it is j unit or j unit add ons or something and accordingly you can add them similarly if i go to this maven view here we have the life cycle right then we have the plugins we have the dependencies so here it is showing this particular view j unit and within that we have this ham crest what we can do we can copy paste the dependencies inside the maven pom file right we can add the dependencies manually in the pom.xml another thing that we can do the feature that vs code provides that we can add a dependency from here also if i click on this plus button which is add a dependency button this particular text box opens you can see at the bottom it is written input keywords to search artifacts from the maven central repository so i need to type in the keyword say spring or hibernate or whatever it is and i need to press enter so just test purpose let me add spring press enter now vs code has searched the repositories and whatever possible options are there it is going to give back to me now it's up to me which one i want to select so if i click over here you can see it has added the dependency for spring framework i don't need it right now but i just wanted to show you so vs code is a pretty lightweight and very rich editor and in this lesson we just got an initial idea on how to create a maven based java project inside vs code and how to manage the dependencies at a very beginner level